Hi all. Welcome to OET Speaking and Writing. Today we can discuss a role play. You can read the task. setting, community health center. You are talking to a 65-year-old man, who requires travel health advice, as he is moving to Africa and expects a potential threat of malaria. He sees you for malaria prevention advice. 1. Find out the reason for the visit. 2. Inquire about the location of travel. 3. Explain the malaria risk and malaria prophylaxis, tablet taken before during and after the trip, 4. Dot, reassure him about the side effects egg, check for reaction, side effects before traveling, short course of medication prior. 5. Find out about patient's previous experience of anti-malarial drug. 6. Stress tablets are more effective treatment, egg, even for short trips, symptoms are severe, recurrence likely etc. 7. Outline supplementary precautions for example, insect repellent, mosquito net, covering slain etc. 2.47 pm here you can start your conversation by saying, Good morning. Please be seated. My name is Sarah. I'm one of the registered nurses working in this community health center. How may I address you? Probably patient might tell his name. Assume the name is Mr. John and you can ask about the purpose of visit. You can ask like, may I know the reason for your visit? Probably. The patient might say you like next week, I have a trip with my friends. I'm 65. That's why I came here to seek some health advice. Then we need to appreciate the patient so we can tell like, I appreciate your concerns about your health. You are at the right place and I'm here to help you. Before proceeding further, can I ask you some details about your trip? Probably patient may agree with you. Then we can ask questions. Like, Mr. John could you please share me the place you are planning to visit? He might say you like, we are planning to go to Africa. And we must cover big cities and remote villages. Then we can tell him like, thank you for the information or thank you for the details. Sometimes patient may expresses his concern about mosquitoes and concerns about malaria. If he doesn't, tell about this malaria and then we can ask. Do you have an idea about the climate there in Africa? At that time, probably, the patient may tell you. Like, yes, it might be wet season there and he may express the possible threat of malaria. In that situation as per our task we can tell him like. Yes your concern is reasonable. There is a high risk of malaria in this season and I would definitely recommend malaria prophylaxis for you. That is medication you need to take before the tours and to continue it on and after the travel. Probably the patient may not agree with you. Then again we need to reinforce the need of medication. So we can tell him like, if you are traveling to Africa, there is a moderate to high risk of these kind of disease. The simple and effective way to prevent this, disease is malaria prophylaxis. That means it's really crucial to take the medication, before the tour. And continue it during and after the tour as prescribed. Is that clear? Then probably he may ask like, nurse, could you please suggest some other methods than this medication? because there are chance of getting side effects that would affect my trip. 
In that situation we need to tell him like, it is understandable to feel worried about the side effect of this medication. But I would say it's far better than getting affected by the disease. Also, we have a possibility to check the reaction and side effect of medication by starting the medication a week before. Then, you can ask, do you have any previous experience with anti-malarial drugs? Probably he might say you, I don't have any, previous experience, but my friend told me, the reaction is severe. So that I'm asking, is there any other alternative for this medication? Then we can tell him like regarding the side effects. You don't have to worry about, because you may need to take a short trial course of anti-malarial tablets before traveling. This is to check that, you don't have an adverse reactions or side effects. If, you have any problem with this particular medicine, we can give you the alternative medication. That's why we are giving you a short trial cause of anti-malarial medication before your travel. How does that sound? Probably patient, may ask you about. I ask there any other measures other than this medication? Then we can tell him like, I'm afraid no other way because the effective treatment for this, malaria is tablets. These are the most effective treatment. I'm sorry to say that the symptoms are severe and there is a high chance of recurrence. That's why we are insisting you to take the malaria prophylaxis. At last he may agree with you. Then, we need to tell him like, would you be willing to take this medication? Then probably he may agree with you, then you can tell him, like I am glad, that you have taken the appropriate decision. Then, we need to educate him about the additional precautions along with this medication. So we can tell him like, Mr. John please make sure to stay safe from mosquito bites by using insect repellents on your skin, covering your arms and legs. And using a mosquito net. Or you can tell like, you can protect yourself from mosquito bites by wearing full, sleeve protective clothing. Spray insect repellents on your exposed skin and clothing. Use mosquito net on the bed. By following all the steps you can prevent, mosquito bites. Then we can ask him. Is there any other concerns? Or is there anything else I need to aware? Then we can conclude by saying, well, let me assure you that, if you follow our instruction, you will be safe. And do not. Hesitate to contact me if you need any more support, I will be available here to help you. Thank you so much. I wish you a happy journey. In this way you can end up your conversation.